something I think is very important in the free and open source world is to try out other people's contributions and whatever they've made. And of course, from Tister Tube, who needs no introduction from YouTube, uh, has gone ahead and basically uh, created their post uh, installation script called DTOS, which of course uh, deploys their Xmonad, their Emacs configuration, etc. But because of popular demand, they have gone ahead and actually released a actual ISO image as well, which is really great for quite a couple of folks because a lot of people uh, specifically did ask for the uh, ISO image so that uh, they can just install it straight out of, out of the box. So if you go to DTOSS GitLab, uh, it actually tells you that you can find the latest DTOS ISO on SourceForge, so you can just get the files here. And what I've gone and done is downloaded the latest one, so let's take a look at it. So, I'm going to do a new virtual machine. I'm just going to select the media, so DTOS. Right, we know it's Arch based, so I'm just going to choose Arch Linux. I'm going to give this 6 gigs of memory, 8 CPU cores, a 100 gig hard disk, and I'm going to call it DTOS. And finish. And nice uh, intro graphic over here. Nice customization. So let's uh, install it. I'm going to choose open source because I do not have any NVIDIA hardware. Okay, in the meantime, while we wait for that to load, we go to distro.tube's website and we go to DTOS. It does talk about you some of the key bindings uh, they've set up. So, for example, uh, super and space just toggle full screen, uh, launcher, super shift and return, and to quit a window, uh, super shift and quit. Okay. And here we are at the installer, which is a traditional uh, Calamari's installer. So I'm going to say next, LA is fine, next, erase the disk. I'm not going to just swap partition. Uh, oh gosh, I'll just call it DTOS VM. Give it a safe and secure password. And next, and install. Great thing here on the right hand side, of course, it gives you a couple of what the images are here and uh, just to show you what some of the shortcut keys are. So folks, what I'm going to do here is I'll pause and I'll come back once this has been installed. Okay, now that we're back, let's restart now. Okay, DTOS. Okay, so... My session is going to be Qtile, so I'm going to log into Qtile. Okay, so really clean, so let's I want to open up a application here. So let's I want to open up a terminal. I can just hit uh, my super key and... Okay, so let's take a look out of the box. So let's say I want to run a prompt or open up a terminal um, or open a browser, super key B. And of course it opens up a browser if I want to close, super key C, we'll close, we'll close it up. Um, let's say we want to get to a run prompt, super key shift return, ah, right. So we can shift return, and of course here you can go and choose whatever applications you want. So, uh, guess Brave, or whatever other applications are pre-installed here. So, a mixer. Who am I? Uh, really, really great uh, way of doing it. Uh, network, CTL, advanced. So whatever you're typing in, of course it's it's gonna end up over there as well, which is really great. And of course, it also has a uh, Rofi as well. So if you prefer, you can use Rofi. 
again, if this is shift workspaces, shift and the different commands, and of course we'll shift them. So let's say, for example, I again uh, launch something like gedit or brave, right? And you can see that's on this terminal. I can just go shift and go to my second workspace and open up something else, which is really great. So let's say I want to open up a terminal here. Shift return, I have my terminal. And of course I've got um, all the little shell here. So if I go back command, you can see I can just move around. Um, I'm just to see what the, the default shell is. Okay, so the default shell is fish. An interesting option. And if I do an ls here, Okay, uh, using Excel, so let's say we want to look at our bash rc file. So I'm just going to go bash rc and see the default settings here, which is really uh, cool because it's basically district tubes bash file that they've set up here, which is has some really great defaults into it, I must say. So that's really great to see. So I'm just going to quit that. My control shift C here. And of course, with this being Arch based, you can of course install whatever other applications you need to install. So in my case, uh, if we take a look here at the bar, of course, this option here will open up a terminal. Let's close that. Um, showing you what version the kernel is, uh, CPU usage, disk usage, uh, volume is on, you click it, you can mute it, scrap it on keyboard. Uh, uh, copy queue, so if you need to check what's on your clipboard, you can do that. Uh, your network configuration, and here of course your package manager for updates so here of course uh, the package manager that they've gone ahead with is PAMAC uh, very popular tool and probably one of the most popular uh, applications for uh, when it comes to Arch to install applications uh, by default AUR is disabled you can enable that if, if you want and flat packs and snaps if you really want but of course that is all up to you. So out of the box, really, really great to see. I think it is fantastic uh, to see what the community has been able to come up with and really great to see what uh, DistroWatchers come up with. So I take my absolute uh, hat off, as you can see here, of course, uh, Emacs as well which is really great to see. So folks, that is just a quick look here. Uh, of course, go and see the videos that DistroTube has done on their configuration and of course on DTOA. So this is just a quick preview. And folks, as always, thank you for watching and bye for now.